Get ready for non-stop action in this week's compilation of wild, jaw-dropping moments caught on Dashcam, featuring exclusive videos you won't find anywhere else. Isaiah was driving his Toyota 4Runner and was waiting in a center turn lane when he watched a pickup driver slam into the back of a car that was stopping at a traffic signal. Isaiah stopped and gave a copy of his dashcam footage to the driver of the Hyundai Elantra, who seemed to be okay. He thinks the Toyota Tacoma only needed a new bumper, but that the Hyundai was probably totaled. This submitter was driving down the I-495 service road when the driver of a BMW pulled out from an access road, colliding with his Toyota Prius. Our submitter tried to avoid contact, but the front bumper of the BMW scraped down the side of his Prius in spite of his efforts. Both drivers stopped to exchange information. Thankfully, there was no underlying damage to our submitter's car, so the repair estimate is somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000 US dollars. He didn't tell us how much it would cost the other driver to fix her BMW. Dolphin Attic is back with another road rage submission. He was on his way to SeaWorld when he saw an Infinity driver aggressively tailgating and swerving behind a black Honda. As they approached a traffic light, he could see the Infinity driver gesturing, shouting, and revving his engine at the Honda driver. As soon as the Infinity driver had an opportunity, he flew up next to the Honda. This prompted the Honda driver to make an abrupt left turn in an attempt to escape the obnoxious Road Rager. The Infinity driver aggressively cut in front of the Honda, but their maneuver was pointless as the other driver was already stopping for the turn. They then sped off, weaving around other traffic. Dolphin Attic notified the police about what had happened, including a complete description of the offender's vehicle. He hasn't heard back, but he's hoping they'll at least keep an eye out for him. Ryan was on his way to work when he watched the driver of a pickup truck run a red light right in front of him. Ryan hit the brakes as soon as he noticed the pickup wasn't stopping, but the driver of the Jeep in the lane next to him wasn't as aware and got T-boned. Ryan pulled over and gave both drivers his business card in case either of them wanted his dashcam footage for their insurance claims. Evidently they didn't because he never heard from them. Dakota was taking a friend home and was going about 45 miles per hour when his wheel came off and got lodged inside the wheel well of his Pontiac Grand Prix GT. Dakota told us another friend of his hadn't tightened the lug nuts enough earlier that day, leading to the wheel coming off. Fixing the damage to the brake rotors, struts, and shock absorbers cost Dakota over 1,500 US dollars. This submitter was headed home after picking up some Chipotle when another driver with a stop sign drove across the road in front of her. Our submitter swerved into a driveway to avoid T-boning the white Toyota. Even after pulling over to calm down, she was still shaking the rest of the way home. She's just thankful there were no pedestrians walking where she'd swerved and that she was able to react in time to avoid a collision. Raul was taking his wife Daniela to work early one morning when he noticed a pickup truck behind him wasn't slowing down and heard tires screeching. One pickup truck rear-ended another right behind them. Raul's situational awareness paid off when he was able to drive onto the shoulder to make room for the pickup that had been pushed forward. Thankfully, there were no injuries. Both pickup drivers pulled over, but Raul had to get his wife to work on time, so he didn't stop. When he came back 30 minutes later, they were both gone. Raul told us that when the impact happened, he thought, wow, as if out of wham bam. He also wanted to shout out his wife for being such a good co-pilot. This submitter was approaching a construction zone when the driver ahead of him got impatient and decided to drive against a flagger's stop sign.
The flagger did his best to block the driver's path, but they continued, forcing him to jump out of the way. Our submitter gave the flagger a copy of his dashcam video in case he or his employer want to file charges. I'm surprised that flagger didn't deposit his stop sign into that driver's windshield. If you'd been that flagger, what would you have done? Let us know in the comments. This submitter was driving his Civic when the driver of a Jeep tried to get Honda bumped by making a U-turn from the rightmost lane, cutting across every lane of a five-lane road. Thankfully, our submitter was able to stop in time to avoid a collision. I guess it's a Jeep thing. This submitter was driving home when a white BMW turned onto the road in front of him, but then the driver changed lanes, giving our submitter nowhere to go. Between his Audi's safety features and standing on the brake pedal, our submitter still couldn't avoid hitting the BMW. The other driver stopped to exchange information with him and repairs cost over 12,000 US dollars to complete. Thankfully, the BMW driver was found to be at fault. Our submitter wanted to shout out Manpreet, who forced him to send us his dashcam footage. Thanks, Manpreet. Wait, don't skip this part. It's not an ad. At least, not like you're thinking. We just wanted to remind you about our newest channel, Wham Bam Security Cam, where we've been publishing episodes for 10 weeks now. Hey, it's hey. the same Wham Bam format hey, you know and love, but with security camera footage instead. If you've never checked it out, we've made it easy with a new video highlighting the top 30 clips we've shown so far put together into one mega episode. For the next week, we'll be giving away free Wham Bam hoodies to 10 random submitters whose security camera clips are accepted to be in an episode. Click the link in the description or scan this QR code to go watch the video now. Mike was driving along in his Jaguar I-Pace when an SUV suddenly flew past him at an insane speed. Yo, holy Mike estimates the SUV driver must have been going double the speed limit as they swerved around traffic. Sad, not good. Mahin was headed home after doing some shopping. As he made his way through the parking lot, he noticed an employee moving carts off to the side. Suddenly, the employee turned in front of Mahin's Subaru Forester without looking, and Mahin had to slam on the brakes. Thankfully, no collision occurred. Tyler was heading to the gym and had just pulled up behind a car at a red light. Suddenly, the driver of the Nissan shifted into reverse before backing up at an angle in spite of Tyler's honking. Tyler told us the man got out and started banging on his window and he thinks the guy was drunk. The driver then drove away but eventually pulled over. It took the police over an hour to respond and they didn't make a report. Now, the other driver's insurance provider is refusing to pay the claim since there's no official police report. So Tyler's own insurance provider is paying for the repairs for now. Ryan is back with another submission. He was driving home after a NASCAR race when the vehicle ahead of him ran over something which became jammed underneath it. Thankfully, the other driver was able to pull over safely. When he drove past, Ryan told us it looked like the object may have been a large toolbox. John was on his way home from work when the driver of a blue pickup that had been tailgating him and others got tired of waiting for one semi-truck to pass another. That's why you don't try to pass a semi on the right, kids. The pickup driver was forced to the shoulder as the semi driver merged back over, evidently unable to see the pickup. Thankfully, no collision occurred. John told us he was inspired by our channel to buy his dash cam two months ago. He's glad his first submission didn't involve any collisions or injuries. Dan is an Uber driver who was on his way to pick up a passenger. After stopping at a four-way stop, he continued only to be surprised when a driver from the right ran their stop sign. The other driver hit Dan's Nissan kicks as he flew through the stop sign. Both drivers pulled over to exchange information and Dan is now waiting to find out what it'll cost to repair his vehicle. 
Peter was driving his Hyundai down a two-lane road. On a road like this, the speed limit would normally be about 50 miles per hour, but since there were some houses on this street, the speed limit here is about 35 miles per hour. When another driver passed him at around 50 miles per hour, Peter flashed his headlights to warn her of the speed limit, but evidently she didn't get the message. A motorcycle cop promptly pulled her over for some instant justice while Peter kept right on going. Curtis was just leaving work for the day when the driver of an SUV suddenly pulled out in front of him, forcing him to stop to avoid hitting her. Thankfully, Curtis was able to avoid a collision. He told us he loves our videos and has been looking forward to when he could send us his own dash cam footage. Thanks, Curtis. Justin was on lunch break between college classes when he stopped at a yield sign to wait for traffic. When he started inching forward, he got Hyundai bumped by a Sonata. At first, the Hyundai driver blamed Justin for the collision, saying he shouldn't have stopped. Thankfully, there were no injuries and no significant damage to either vehicle. Daniel was passing a gas station when he watched a Jeep pull onto the road with a pump nozzle still stuck in the side of it. Daniel tried to catch up, but the clueless driver was moving pretty fast. When he flashed his lights at the Jeep driver, he slowed down and gave Daniel an opportunity to tell him what was wrong. You got the gas pump. What? The gas pump is still in the side. Thankfully, most modern gas pumps have safety disconnects for this reason. If this happens to you, just take the pump handle back. The employees can probably reattach it to the pump and you shouldn't be charged for it. Daniel sent along a shout out for his wife Elise and three sons D'Angelo, Corbin, and Bryson. He said they all had a good laugh about the situation. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon man! Please support the show!